Introduction. If you have valuable knowledge in a niche that is in demand, you can make a significant income as an online coach. A lot of people try to do this, but they do not earn the income that they are looking for because they do not approach things in the right way. In this training, we will show you how to start a profitable online coaching business. Because it is easy to start online coaching, a lot of people dive right in and do not get the results that they were expecting. You have to have the right mindset to be a successful online coach. Without this, you are doomed to failure. We will show you in this training the mindset that you need and how you can develop it. Having a plan for your online coaching business is very important. Without a plan, you will never know if you are truly successful or not. We will show you exactly what you need to include in your plan so that you have the best chance of success. You need to make the right impression as an online coach. And this starts with your website. There's no need to spend a lot of money on a fancy website. It just needs to be professional and we will explain what you need. To make a healthy profit, you need to attract the right clients. We have proven methods in this training that will help you to find those clients. You will see that you have a number of options here. Some will require a small investment, while others are free and will require effort on your part. There are a number of ways that you can grow your online coaching business, and we have some good ideas for you in this training. We also provide you with details of some useful tools that will help you to manage your online coaching business effectively. Why start an online coaching business? With the advances in technology, you now have a number of different ways to connect with people across the globe. People that are looking for coaches of all kinds can now find them very easily online. They have the freedom to find a coach that will really meet their needs who they will get on well with. There are many people looking for online coaches that have the knowledge and experience to help them. If you specialize in a niche that is in demand, such as digital marketing, then if you follow the advice in this training, you will not find it difficult to obtain clients. You need to keep them happy, of course, which we will discuss later. Does being an online coach suit you? Anybody can start an online coaching business today. That doesn't mean that it is a good fit for everybody. Do you have expertise in a particular niche? If so, then you certainly qualify as an online coach. There is no doubt that if you enjoy teaching others what you know, then an online coaching business is a great way to do it. You can set your own schedule and work whenever you want to from anywhere in the world. But you need to remember that you will always have to find new clients to make the whole thing profitable for you. There are different ways you can do this, which we will cover in a later video. It is rare that finding a small number of clients will be enough to sustain a full-time online coaching business. There are a number of courses available online that will teach you how to be a successful online coach. You can even obtain certificates from professional bodies to back up what you are doing. Online coaching is a great business to be in, but you need to be prepared to provide the highest quality service to your clients and make a significant profit at the same time. It helps you to grow. When you decide to become an online coach, it will do a great deal for your own professional and personal growth. If you are an expert in your subject, there is always more to learn, and you will be committed to doing this so that you can provide your clients with the most up-to-date and useful information. It is very satisfying to teach others what you know and to help them achieve their own goals. You will need to be a good communicator, and as you perform more coaching, you will refine your communication skills. Dealing with all different kinds of people will open your mind and help you to develop as a person. To be a good online coach, you need to be disciplined and organized. If you commit to a coaching session with a specific client at a specific time, then you have to be on time. You should plan out your coaching sessions to ensure that your clients get the best from them and feel like they have received a lot of value from you. There is good money in online coaching. Online coaches charge hundreds if not thousands of dollars for personal coaching. If you are coaching several different people at the same time, then you can charge on a per-person basis, which will bring you in a good amount of money. Most people never turn what they know into hard cash. This is exactly what an online coach does. They are happy to provide their knowledge to others in return for a significant sum of money. Experts in the digital marketing niche can charge thousands for an hour of their time. The same goes for coaches in personal development and life coaching. When you are starting out, you will need to charge less than this, but an hour of your time can still be worth hundreds of dollars. By providing personal one-on-one -on -one attention to individual clients, they will appreciate this and will reward you handsomely for it. As long as you are providing good value, people will be happy to pay you what you want. Create your own schedule. You decide when you will work. Obviously, you need to be around when your clients are, and if they are in different countries, then you need to plan for the differences in time zones. With today's technology, you can send out reminders to your clients and use the Internet for all of your coaching sessions. 
it is fairly easy for you to tell your clients when you are available for coaching. You need to be flexible here and make yourself available to your clients when it suits them. Some of them may have full-time jobs and only be available on weekends and evenings. What you can definitely control is the number of coaching sessions that you provide in a day. Very easy to get started. You probably have all of the tools that you need to become an online coach right now. A laptop or a desktop computer and an internet connection and you are ready to go. Some online coaches claim that they can provide online sessions when they are on the move by using a tablet device. This is not something that we would recommend when you are starting out. Clients will expect you to communicate with them using a messenger service such as Skype, Zoom, Facebook, etc. You could offer your clients the choice of platform for your sessions. All of these services are free, and you can even record the sessions that you have with your clients. There may be a small charge for this. Everyone has email, so you can use this as another communications medium. We recommend that you set up Google Drive or some other cloud service so that you can share materials with your clients. If you need them to see video footage, then this will often be too large a file to send via email. Then there is texting. You can send text messages anywhere in the world for very little these days. If your client likes this form of communication, then ask them for their phone number and provide yours as well. We recommend that you go for the best internet package that you can for your coaching business. It is also a good idea to have a backup service as well. If your internet access is down, then you cannot provide coaching sessions. This is not going to go down well with your clients, so always have a backup plan. With high bandwidth internet access, you can hold video calls and easily share your computer screen for demonstrations, etc. Your clients will appreciate this as you are really helping them to learn what you know. Most people appreciate over-the-shoulder training. In the next video, we will discuss the mindset you need to become a successful online coach. Developing a successful online coach mindset. People often think that they need some special insider knowledge to become a successful and profitable online coach. This is not the case. What you do need is the right mindset to make a success out of online coaching. You need to have the right plan and take the right action. Assuming that you are providing effective coaching sessions for your clients, that is all that you need. If you were to analyze a successful online coach, you would find that they have the following traits. They are confident. They have clarity. They have a mentality of abundance. They are always positive. Basically, successful online coaches have a magnetic personality. People are easily drawn to them and look forward to their coaching sessions with them. Take a look at Tony Robbins, for example. He has to be one of the most successful coaches of all time. So many people like him because of his magnetic personality. He started life as a janitor. Unfortunately, there are a number of online coaches that do not succeed. This is because they do not have the right mindset for success. They do not exude confidence, and as a result, they take the wrong action. Clients are not confident in their ability to deliver what they need. These coaches may be total experts in their niche, but this is not enough. If they do not have the right mindset to wow their clients, then they are going to struggle. Successful online coaches never appear desperate for business, even if they are. They are always certain that they can get the right result for their clients. The good news is that you can develop the right mindset to be a successful online coach. If you follow the advice in this video, then you will be well on your way. So let's take a look at the mindset changes that you need to make to be a profitable and in-demand online coach. One, you have to be confident. People that hire you as their online coach expect you to be very confident in yourself and your abilities. They see you as their mentor and want to look up to you. If you don't have the right amount of confidence, then you are going to struggle to find and keep profitable coaching clients. You need to be confident in the way that you look and when you speak. One way to identify weaknesses in your coaching delivery is to record yourself providing a fake session. Use a video recorder so that you can play everything back and identify problem areas. Do this alone at first, and then you can find people that will provide you with honest feedback. Pay particular attention to the tone of your voice and your facial expressions. How do you greet your clients? If they ask you difficult questions, how do you respond? How is your body language during a session? Do you look attentive and ready to listen? Two, you have to have clarity. This starts with you being clear about what a successful online coaching business means to you. We all have different definitions of success, so you need to define your own and work out how this will look and feel to you. There's more to being a successful online coach than just money. Some people that have a lot of money are not happy with their lot in life. So we recommend that you do not make money your sole focus with your online coaching business. Think about how being a successful online coach means to you emotionally and spiritually. Once you know this, you can practice it all the time. There are many online coaches out there that make good money but are not happy. 
This is not a place that you want to be in. Three, you need to think solutions. Clients will come to you as an online coach because they are looking for solutions to their problems. You need to have the belief that you can provide a solution to any problem that your clients have. When you are first starting out, you may be hit with some questions that you were not expecting, so you need to handle this in the right way. Unfortunately, if people are paying you hundreds of dollars for your time and expertise, they're going to expect you to have all of the answers right away. If you don't know the answer to something, then you need to provide a credible response, such as, there are several ways that you could approach this. What you want to do here is buy some time so that you can come up with the right solution. When you first engage with your client, tell them that you are an expert and you are committed to finding the right solutions for them. Tell them that you may need to spend time after your call finding the most appropriate solution. You can find yourself getting into a negative thinking spiral if you cannot provide the solution that a client is looking for right away. It is essential that you do not let this overwhelm you and always believe that you can find solutions for every problem. 4. Adopt the right lifestyle mindset Because it is easy to get started as an online coach, a lot of people make the mistake of diving in headfirst and then end up working crazy long hours for very little money. We recommend that you come up with a lifestyle plan before you open your doors for business. There are limits to what you will do. Working long hours for very little reward will soon grind you down. Think about the return on investment, ROI, you want from your online coaching business. This is not just financial. You need to think about time, freedom, and satisfaction, too. If you are a prisoner to your online coaching business, then it is not going to last very long. So, think about the money that you want to make and also the free time that you want from your new online coaching business. Also think about what will give you the most satisfaction from being in this business. This could be helping others, for example. Once you have your lifestyle plan worked out, you can then decide how you will operate your online coaching business. You can choose what you will deliver to your clients and when so that it supports the life that you desire. 5. Be goal-oriented. You need to set yourself challenging goals if you want to be a successful online coach. Standing still is not an option. It may be easy for you to share your knowledge with the world, but always be thinking about moving up to the next level. Don't stay in your comfort zone or you will never realize your potential. You need to embrace change and different challenges. Think big and set big goals. If you get too comfortable, then you can become complacent and your clients will notice this. What other ways can you further your online coaching business? Can you turn what you know into a successful digital product that you can sell for a high price? Or what about a membership website where clients pay you each month to view training videos that you have made and learn from other resources? 6. Be a collaborator. While it is possible to become a successful online coach on your own, you are likely to achieve a lot more by collaborating with others. Having the support of a good network will have a significant impact on your ability to attract new clients and increase your income. There are many different ways that you can collaborate with others. You can do a lot without having to travel anywhere. Find people that have authority blogs in your niche and work something out with them. Offer them a commission to advertise your coaching services. Write guest posts for their blog with a link back to your website. You can also find influencers on social media that will promote your business. These people have large followings and can instantly connect with people that you could never find on your own. So have a collaboration mindset to really grow your online coaching business. In the next video, we will discuss the essential steps that you need to take to develop a successful online coaching business. Essential steps for a successful online coaching business. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Have you ever heard that before? It is likely that you have heard it many times and the reason for this is because it is true. If you just jump into your online coaching business, it is not very likely to succeed. In the last video, we discussed how important it is to have the right mindset. So we are going to put that into practice now by helping you strategize your online coaching business. You need a plan and it needs to be good. Here are the essential steps that you need to take. 1. What do you really want? There is no such thing as a perfect online coach. You can spend months on Google trying to find the perfect way to launch your new online coaching business and you will not find the right answer. This training will certainly help you, but you need to ask yourself some important questions before you get going. There is no shortage of online training courses that will cost you a lot of money. Although the content in these courses is likely to be high quality, you can never guarantee that it will be the right fit for you. As a starting point, ask yourself, what income do I want to earn each month? How many hours do I want to work on my online coaching business? What kind of contribution do I want to make in the world? Write down full answers to these questions because you're going to turn them into goals. 
The first is your income goal. The second is your lifestyle goal. And the last one is your contribution goal. When you achieve all of these goals, you will have an online coaching business that rewards you, provides you with the lifestyle you want, and fulfills you. Two, identify your target market. To succeed as an online coach, you need to serve your clients in a way that the market is not effectively doing so at the moment. You need to know who your target market is and what their pain points are and the problems that they have. It is important for you to align with their desires so that they are delighted to work with you. When you are able to provide effective solutions to people, you will become irresistible to them. They will happily pay you whatever you are asking. Providing the answer to their problems is what you need to be about, so you need to know as much about your market as possible. There are a number of ways that you can do this. You can look for conversations online to discover the problems that your target market is having. Your aim is to know more about your target market than they know about themselves. Then just tell them that you have the answers that they are looking for. Create a plan around this. Find out who your ideal clients are and find ways to identify the issues that they have. In a later video, we will show you some great ways to find potential clients for your online coaching business. Three, you need to stand out. Until you are able to build a solid reputation as an online coach, you need to stand out from the crowd. This is particularly important if you're going into a competitive market. There's nothing wrong with being in a competitive market. These tend to grow more than other markets do. The best way to stand out from the crowd as an online coach is to deliver solutions that really make a difference to your clients. Make a commitment to develop an irresistible offer to them that solves one of their top pain points. Use your creative mind here and offer the best way to fix their problems. This could be a series of one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, a group coaching session for their employees, a series of training videos for company personnel, and so on. Four, price your services right. Be committed to providing value to all of your coaching clients. When you have the solutions to their problems, you are in a strong position and you can charge accordingly. Some people will try to knock you down on your price. We recommend that you avoid these people, especially if they are bargain hunters. Never forget that the solutions that you provide can make a significant difference to your clients' lives. If your recommendations will save a business a lot of money, then never be afraid to charge a high price for your expertise. Five, take action. Don't be a perfectionist. You do not need a website that costs a fortune and takes months to develop. Your website needs to look professional and explain clearly what you do. Anything more than that is just garnish. Being resourceful is far more important than having a fancy website. Think about all the people that you know and tell them that you are launching your new online coaching business. If they do not need your services, then they may know others that do. Six, set up a support network. Being an online coach can be a pretty lonely business. One of the best things that we recommend you do is to find a good mentor or mentors. There will be times when you are stuck on a problem for a client. With a good mentor in place, it can be a lot easier to come up with the right solution. Did you know that most good mentors have their own mentors too? Well, they do, and it is because nobody knows everything. No matter how much of an expert you are in your niche, there will always be something that you don't know or are unsure of. Make sure that the people around you provide their support to you as well. The support of your spouse and your family is critical. It will also help you immensely if your close friends are supportive as well. 7. Scale your online coaching business Think of ways that you can scale up your online coaching business. Your focus here should be on providing you with more income and freeing up more of your time. Why not create online training courses where you will share your knowledge with others for a premium? Another thing that you can do is to create an online community for your target market. Instead of them paying you for one-on-one -on -one sessions, you can charge them a monthly membership fee to gain access to the community and its valuable resources. In the next video, we will discuss the best ways to deliver your online coaching. Effective Delivery of Online Coaching The way that you deliver your online coaching to your clients does depend on your strategy. Some online coaches deliver to a number of people at the same time, while others only offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. There are other online coaches that do both. Regardless of your approach, there are common elements that you need to get right. 1. Prepare for your coaching sessions. It is essential that you are confident with your coaching sessions. If you are disorganized and just wing it, then unless you are a master coach with bags of experience, your delivery will not be perceived as confident to your clients. Always bear in mind that your coaching clients are looking to you to provide answers to their questions. Your main objective must be a solution provider that inspires your clients. When people are paying you top dollar for your advice, they expect you to be on the ball and give them what they want. With new clients, ask them questions using email or through an online form to get a good understanding of what their problem and pain points are. 
Give yourself time to prepare for the coaching call so that you can research if necessary or speak with your mentors to come up with the best response. There will be times when a client asks you a question that you can't answer. When this happens, you need to respond positively and tell them that you need to look into the issue further to provide them with the best answer. You have to manage expectations here. Your clients probably think you have all of these answers already. Prepare your first coaching session around what the client has told you about their problems. Using screen visuals is a good idea and will be well received, so spend time getting these ready before your call. When you prepare everything beforehand, it will give you the confidence to deliver the best possible coaching session. Two, add accountability to your online coaching. Your coaching clients are paying you for your advice and guidance, so you need to have information prepared for them. It is also a good idea to create materials and coaching calls that provide a direct response to questions raised. Versatility is very important, and it is not just about providing static materials. When you are delivering your coaching sessions, focus on planting a seed. What you are doing here is providing ideas at the seed level that will take root with your clients and then start to grow. Online coaching is a two-way street. The onus is on you to provide the solutions, but you want the client to play their part as well. They need to take action against what you have discussed, so introduce accountability into your sessions. Tell your client at the outset that they will need to be responsible for the agreed actions in your calls. There are a number of good tools out there that will help you to provide this accountability. We will cover the best tools to use in a later video. Whatever tools you decide to use, they need to be visible by both you and the client or clients. There are tools that offer a number of interactive elements such as goal setting, calendars, and journaling. Use these to your advantage. It is essential that you keep track of the actions that you have agreed with your clients. This will include actions for you as well as actions for them. What you want is a number of coaching sessions with a client for maximum profitability. It is pretty unlikely that you're going to solve all their problems in one coaching session anyway, but when you have an accountability trail, it will always prompt another session. Three, be flexible over session times and platforms. If you live on the other side of the world to your client, then you need to be flexible over times for coaching sessions. It is not ideal to perform coaching sessions in the middle of the night, but if that is the only time that your client has available, then you need to make the sacrifice here. We recommend that you have as many conferencing facilities as possible at your disposal. A lot of people will be happy to use Skype, and there are apps available for you to record your coaching sessions, which you must do. Always tell your clients up front that you will be recording the calls. Explain that you will play the recording back afterwards to pick up on the agreed actions, etc. Tell them that you do not want to write notes as this will deflect your attention away from listening to what they have to say. They should appreciate this. You can offer a copy of the recording coaching session to your clients if they want it. Another good reason for recording your coaching sessions is that you can learn from your mistakes. Take the time to go through all of your early coaching sessions and think about ways that you can improve them. 4. Use video calling where possible. You want to create a strong connection with your coaching clients. One of the best ways to do this is to use video sessions so that they can see your face and you can see theirs. It is easier to pick up on visual clues during a coaching session than it is audible ones. For example, if you are discussing a high-level concept, you will easily be able to detect if your client is confused or is switching off while you are trying to explain something complex. You can straight away check with them to confirm that things are sinking in with them or not. It is never good for your client to leave a coaching session confused. If you are coaching a group of people at the same time, keep the numbers low, less than six, so that you can monitor the reactions of the different clients. For group coaching, you will need something more robust than Skype or the other messenger applications. You need to invest in a video conferencing platform. Be sure to cover all your costs of using this type of platform in your pricing. Also make sure that you can record the sessions. If it is possible to record both video and audio, then go for that option so that you can really assess your performance in the sessions. Five, be responsive outside of coaching sessions. None of your coaching clients are going to expect you to be available 24 hours a day, but they will expect you to respond promptly to any emails or other forms of communication that they initiate with you. Some online coaches choose specific times of day when they will respond to emails from clients. While we are all for time management, we do not agree that it is a good idea to keep coaching clients waiting too long for a reply from you. We recommend that you respond to emails or text messages or any other form of communication from your clients as soon as possible. They will certainly appreciate that and will feel that you really care about them. As an online coach, your aim must always be to delight your clients. They are going to know people that you don't 
and if they are delighted with the service that you provide, they will happily tell others about it. 6. Be empathetic. We mentioned that online coaching was a two-way street above and that the client has a responsibility to take action as well as you. If they are late delivering these actions, then never try to ridicule them or get angry with them. You need to show empathy and explain to them that it is in their best interest to follow through with the agreed actions. If a client wants to have a call with you late at night because they are struggling with something as a result of your coaching sessions, then unless it is completely inconvenient for you, we recommend that you have that call. Listen to what they have to say and ask questions. If they need a bit more time to complete an action, then tell them that is fine. This is not school, and you are not a teacher who is going to place them in detention for not doing their homework. In the next video, we will look at setting up a website for your online coaching business. Setting up a website for your online coaching business. Some people may tell you that you do not need a website to launch your online coaching business. We strongly disagree with that. The other thing that you may read is that you can use one of the free website platforms to set up a website at no cost. We disagree with that as well. As an online coach, you are going to be charging clients hundreds and later thousands of dollars for your coaching services. If you don't have a website, then it looks like you are trying to do things on the cheap. When you have a free website, it definitely confirms that you are a cheapskate. You need your own domain name, web hosting, and professional-looking website. There's no need for you to spend thousands on some fancy design. Your website needs to look clean and professional, and that is all. It is not necessary to spend a great deal of time and money on it. Some people are reluctant to have their own website because they do not know how to go about it. We will cover some of the basics here, and there are plenty of good tutorials on YouTube which will provide the necessary details for you. 1. Choose a good domain name. Creating your coaching website starts with choosing an appropriate domain name. This is your unique address on the Internet. If your own name is a unique name, then you can use this as your domain name. If your name is John Smith or Mary Jones, then this will not be an easy thing to do, as the names will probably be taken. You could go for johnsmithcoaching.com or something like this. Or you could go niche-specific with something like thedigitalmarketingcoach.com. We have not checked that these names are available. You will need to check yourself using a domain registrar such as GoDaddy.com or NameCheap.com. As a general guide, we would encourage you to go for a .com domain extension if you can get one. They are the most popular by far and recognized by Google and all of the other search engines. If you can't get a .com, then look for a .net or a .org. You can also check out country-specific domain extensions such as .ca for Canada, .au for Australia, and .co.uk for the UK. Our advice is to make your domain name memorable and as short as you can. This is not always easy to do as most of the good names have gone. But with some trial and error, you should be able to come up with a good name. 2. Web Hosting You need web hosting to make your website live on the Internet. It is a place where you will store all of the necessary computer files to make your website operational and available for all to see. There are many web hosting companies to choose from. They will usually offer different plans and prices per month. You need to budget between $10 and $20 a month for your web hosting. It is unlikely that your coaching website is going to get a lot of website traffic visitors, certainly not from the start. You can always upgrade your hosting later. Examples of good web hosting companies are Bluehost.com, HostGator.com, and SiteGround.com. Make sure that the web host you choose offers a one-click WordPress install facility and has a large amount of disk space and bandwidth. You will also want to add an SSL certificate to your website for security, and a lot of hosts now provide this free. Once you have chosen your web host, you will need to connect your domain name to your hosting. This is a bit technical, and most web hosts will help you out with this. Alternatively, there are a lot of videos on YouTube that will explain how to do this. 3. Install WordPress The next thing you need to do is to install the WordPress blog platform on your domain name. You can do this easily using one-click software that most web hosts provide. Again, if you are in doubt, ask your web host to guide you through this step. WordPress is a content management system, CMS. It is very popular and millions of websites use the platform. It is totally free to install and use WordPress for your website. You do not need to know any web coding to add content to your new website when you use WordPress. What you will need to do is to choose a theme for your new WordPress site. The theme is the web design element of your site. It is how it looks and feels, and it is important to make a good choice here. There are thousands of free and premium WordPress themes available. There are themes made especially for online coaching businesses. Go to your favorite search engine and enter WordPress themes for online coaching business, and you will get some good results back. Here is an example of a page that compares the themes.
you will need to log into your WordPress installation and then you will see your dashboard. On the left-hand side, there are many options available to you. One of those is to install a new theme. Select this and then upload the theme file that you downloaded. Activate it afterwards and your new theme is ready to go. Another advantage of using the WordPress platform is that there are many plugins available to enhance your website. A good example here is a contact form where people can send you a message and this will be delivered to an email address of your choice. There are plugins for other things too, such as search engine optimization, SEO, special forms. These are great for asking your coaching clients to fill them out and let you know what their problems are, legal pages, and much more. A lot of plugins are free to use and some are available at a premium. Here is a good page with recommended plugins that you should be using on your WordPress website. It is very easy to install plugins. You just log into your dashboard and select the Add New Plugin option on the left-hand side. You can then upload the plugin file or search for a new plugin that you need, install, and then activate. There are many good tutorials on how to set up and use WordPress for your website on YouTube. This is not a technical training, so we will not include specific details here. WordPress really is the best platform to use for your new online coaching website, so be prepared to spend a little time learning about it first. 4. Pages and Content There are a number of important pages that you need to include with your new website, and these are Homepage. This is the first page visitors will see when they type in your domain name. About Page This is a very important page which tells visitors who you are and what you stand for. Service Page or Pages this can be one page or a number of different pages, whichever suits your strategy. Here, you will define the services that you provide. Contact page. This is where a visitor to your website can contact you directly by typing a message and sending it to you. Privacy and terms and conditions. These are legal pages which explain how information that is provided by your visitors is managed. You can get plugins that will produce these pages for you automatically. It is important here to make a distinction about pages and posts. A page is usually static. Once you have created the pages above, you will not need to change them very often. It is a good idea to test pages out to see how well they are converting for you and then make any necessary tweaks to them. A post is information that is related to your niche and provides value to your visitors. We recommend that you make at least one new post a week about your niche. So if you are a digital marketing coach, for example, you can write posts about social media marketing, search engine optimization, SEO, email marketing, copywriting, driving website traffic. Obviously, you do not want to give everything away in your blog posts. Use them as a hook to get visitors to contact you about your online coaching services. You need to provide value in your posts, but leave some questions unanswered so that your visitors will be able to learn more once they become a coaching client. The reason that you want to create regular posts for your website is that it provides a reason for potential clients to come back and visit your site again. It is also good for SEO, as the more unique content you publish, the higher your rankings will be in the search engines. 5. Your Logo We strongly recommend that you create a unique logo for your online coaching business. If you are not a graphic designer, then there is no need to worry. There are plenty of talented people that can design you a great logo for a few dollars over at Fiverr.com. If you want to do this yourself, then you do not need to go out and spend a lot of money on graphic design programs like Adobe Photoshop. Just head over to canva.com and you can choose a logo style and make changes to it to make it yours. This is completely free. 6. Email opt-in form Not many people are going to visit your website and become clients right away. A great way to stay in touch with potential clients is to create an incentive for them to provide you with their email address so that you can follow up with them afterwards. You can create a special report for your visitors that tells them how to achieve something in your niche. It is best to address one or some of the problems that you have identified your target market has. So, for example, if you were in the digital marketing space, you could provide a report entitled Five Ways to Grow Your Social Media Presence. The trick here is to make the report enticing enough for the visitor to want to provide their email address to you. These days, people are reluctant to give their email address as they know that they are going to receive promotional emails from you. So, make your free offer as compelling as you can. You will need an autoresponder service to deliver emails to your email marketing list automatically. Two good services are aweber.com and getresponse.com. When you are starting out, these will cost you around $20 a month. You can set up a series of emails that will be delivered automatically to your new email subscribers with an autoresponder. Space these emails out over a few days as nobody likes to be bombarded with these messages. It is important to use enticing subject lines so that your emails will be opened. 
It is also possible to send a broadcast email using an autoresponder service. Maybe you want to let your subscribers know that you have a special offer for them, such as a 30-minute coaching session for free. You can choose who receives this broadcast. It can be all of your subscribers or just some of them. You can easily create an email opt-in form where the visitor enters their email address with autoresponder services. We recommend that you have a professional cover image created for your report. And again, there are many people on Fiverr.com that can do this for you for a few bucks. 7. Video Another thing that we recommend is that you create a professional video of yourself describing what you can do for your clients. These days, people would much rather watch a short video than read a lot of text. It doesn't matter if you are not happy to appear on a video. Just get over this and do it anyway. Coaching is a personal business and prospective clients will want to see your face and hear your voice before they make the decision to become a client. You can host your video on platforms like YouTube.com, Vimeo.com, and Dailymotion.com free of charge and embed the video on your web pages. These websites get a lot of visitors, so you may get leads this way as well. Video is a must these days, especially for online coaches, so be sure to plan out a good video script and shoot a high-quality video. If you need to pay someone to shoot the video and edit it for you, then do that. It will be well worth the investment. Doing it yourself requires a high-quality camera, possibly some lighting equipment, which you may be able to hire as well, and video editing software to make your video the best it can be. 8. Social Proof You need to get some testimonials for your online coaching business and add these to your website. If you are just starting out, you can offer to provide some free coaching sessions in return for a testimonial. Social proof is very important for all businesses and particularly important for online coaching. Potential customers will be looking for social proof that you do what you say and will offer them a totally professional service. The best type of testimonial is video. When you offer your coaching services for free to get testimonials, ask your client if they will be willing to appear in a short video. As a minimum, you need a photo of the client and their business name and website address in your testimonials. This all adds to the authenticity. Create the best website that you can. When you have your own domain name and website, it shows potential clients that you are serious about your business. This is good for your mindset as well. You are not embarking on a hobby here. This is a serious business that will generate income for you. Having a good website makes you a lot more credible as an online coach. It showcases who you are and what you can do for your clients. You can add case studies to your website that explain how you have helped others in the past and the results that they achieved. This is great for your credibility. Depending on the type of online coaching services that you offer, some clients will want to sign up and make payments using your website. This is especially true if you offer online training courses. It is less likely to happen if you offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, but still possible, so be sure to provide this option. We recommend that you use your website as a lead generation tool. You either want prospective clients to contact you using your contact form or sign up to your email list by offering a great incentive. Also use your website to deliver great value to your visitors. You need to establish yourself as an expert and authority in your niche, so provide them with great content such as blog posts to showcase what you know and what you can do. With valuable content on your site, it will be much easier to convert visitors into leads and then clients. Make it easy for visitors to share your content on social media platforms by providing buttons for the various networks that make this easy. Make your website work for you 24-7 by adding a call to action on all of your pages and blog posts. In the next video, we will discuss how to get clients for your online coaching business, different types of online coaching services you can provide. There are a number of different ways that you can sell your expertise as an online coach. We will look at the most popular ways to do this in this video. You can start with one method and then scale your business by using the other methods. One-to-one -one live coaching. This is one of the most popular methods of online coaching. A client agrees to pay you for a single session or a specific number of sessions. You then agree on dates and times with the client to provide the coaching using a platform such as Skype or Zoom. Once you are established, you can charge very high prices for one-to-one -one coaching. Some of the top experts charge $10,000 for an hour of coaching. Less established coaches will charge a few hundred dollars. A lot of clients like the personal attention from one-to-one -one coaching, so are willing to pay a premium for it. The biggest disadvantage of one-to-one -one coaching is that you are selling your time. But it is certainly worth doing if you can sell a short amount of your time for hundreds or thousands of dollars. One-to-many live coaching. This type of online coaching is popular in the educational market. Professors will teach a small group of students at once and take questions from them. 
You can do this for your business as well, but the logistics of getting all the clients together on the same day and the same time can be tricky. If you want to pursue this type of coaching, then you can charge each person a specific amount that will total a bit more than you would charge for one-to-one -one coaching. It is tougher to run these sessions than it is with one-to-one -one coaching, and again, you are selling your time. Training Courses The problem with live coaching is that you are selling your time. Yes, you can make a lot of money with live coaching, but another type of coaching that you can offer is training courses. A lot of people like to learn with online training courses. Websites like Udemy.com have grown significantly over the last few years. It is going to take you quite a bit of time to create a high-quality training course. If you want to charge a lot of money for your training, then you will have to create videos. Nobody is going to pay you hundreds of dollars for a few PDF documents. The good thing about training courses is that you can create more than one. Look at the problems that people are experiencing in your niche and create a training course that provides solutions to all of these problems. You can sell your training courses from your website or you can use external platforms to host your videos and documents. Remember that the external platforms will take a fee from you for hosting your courses. Usually, this is a percentage of each sale, so check all of this out before you go ahead. Webinars and Membership Sites With a webinar, you will give away some of your advice for free and then provide more information in a high-ticket training course or through live coaching sessions. Webinars are more of a sales tool than a type of coaching, but they work so well that we wanted to mention them again here. You could create a membership site where people pay you a subscription each month to gain access to your live and recorded webinars. In these webinars, you will provide the member with your most valuable information. You can also give your members other useful resources, such as case studies, videos, documents, etc. In the next video, we will look at the best platforms and tools to use for online coaching. Best platforms and tools to use for online coaching. There are a number of useful platforms and tools that you can use in your online coaching business that will help you to stay on track and be the best you can be. These are particularly useful if you want to provide live coaching sessions. You do not need these to start with. It is possible to provide a great one-to-one -one coaching service using Skype and the free recorder tool that converts your conversations into MP3 files. You can also use the free Google Calendar to keep track of your sessions. We recommend that you use these tools once you have a few clients. Satori. This is essentially an all-in-one coach client management system. With Satori, you get a business intelligence tool and a customer relationship management, CRM, tool rolled into one. The interface is clean and intuitive. With Satori, you can market your coaching programs and even build them, use it for the distribution of proposals and agreements, generate leads, collect payments, and make online bookings and send out questionnaires prior to coaching sessions. Satori starts at $39 a month. Coach Accountable. You get a lot of administrative tools to run your online coaching business with Coach Accountable. This includes the scheduling of coaching sessions, payment collection, sharing documents, and the creation of individual coaching plans. You can get started with Coach Accountable from around $20 a month. Nudge Coach Nudge Coach is an online coaching platform that you can fully customize. It will help you get clients and keep them and contains daily trackers that you can personalize for individual client requirements. You can also organize group coaching sessions with Nudge Coach and more. Prices start from around $25 a month. Calendly As the name suggests, this is a calendar application that will integrate with your existing calendar, Outlook, Google, etc allowing you to book sessions seamlessly. You can then send out booking links to your clients at dates and times you are available. This app makes you a lot more efficient with your session bookings. If you only run one calendar, it's free. Zoom. Zoom is a conferencing app used by a lot of online coaches. Your clients do not need to have a Zoom account to use the platform. All you need to do is set up a session and then send the join link to them via email. You can record your sessions with Zoom and easily share recordings. There is also a webinar feature, which works really well. Zoom integrates with most calendar apps and task management tools, such as Slack. It's really good for coaching small groups. The business plan is really good at around $20 a month. In the final video, we will look at the best practices for being a successful online coach. Successful online coach best practices. Here are the eight best practices that we strongly recommend that you follow to start your own profitable online coaching business. A lot of online coaches do not succeed, but we believe that if you follow these best practices, you will have the maximum chance of success. 1. Understand the benefits There are a number of benefits to starting an online coaching business. 
You can make very good money in online coaching, and as your reputation strengthens, you can even charge higher prices. You have the flexibility to work from anywhere and work when it suits you. It is pretty easy to get started with online coaching, and it will also help you to grow as an individual as you deal with more and more clients. 2. You need the right mindset. You need to develop the right mindset to be a successful online coach. All successful online coaches are confident in what they do. They know what they want to achieve and are very goal-oriented. Successful online coaches are very positive in their outlook and they have an abundance mentality. Their magnetic personalities help them to attract clients to them. They also have a collaboration mindset and work with others to grow their business. They are solution providers and always think this way. 3. Plan your online coaching business. You need to put an effective plan in place for your online coaching business and not just dive straight in. Start by being clear about what you really want by asking yourself what monthly income you want to generate, the hours that you want to work, and the contribution that you want to make. Be sure to fully identify your target market and understand their pain points and problems. Create your plan around providing solutions to these problems. Find a way to stand out in the beginning, get your pricing right, create a support network, and take consistent action against your plan. 4. Deliver online coaching sessions effectively. It is very important that you deliver your online coaching sessions in the most effective way. Avoid perfectionism here, but be the best you can be. You must prepare well for your coaching sessions, whatever type of coaching model you are using. When you are providing live, one-to-one, -one, or group coaching, it is essential that you add accountability. Create all the materials that you will give to your clients before the sessions. Agree actions on the session calls and document these for both parties. Be flexible around your clients' needs when it comes to booking coaching sessions. Always conduct video coaching sessions where you can as it is important that you see your client and they see you. Be responsive to any emails or other communications your client sends you outside of coaching sessions. 5. Set up a professional website. We strongly recommend that you set up a professional-looking website. Get your own domain name and web hosting and use the WordPress platform for your site. Choose an appropriate theme and create all of the necessary pages which add credibility. Have a professional logo made for your online coaching business and use this on your website. Provide valuable content on your website in the form of blog posts and videos. Create an attractive incentive that you will give away in exchange for the visitor's email address so that you can follow up with them afterwards. Get testimonials for your online coaching services and add these to your website. 6. Getting clients. Use a number of different strategies to find clients online. Look for Facebook or LinkedIn groups in your niche and become a member of these groups to provide value. Create PPC ads and test these ads for effectiveness on either Google, Bing, or both. Test social media ads on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn, whichever fits with your target market. Check the analytics to see what is working and what isn't. Write a book around your niche to establish credibility. Write guest posts for high-traffic blogs in the same niche. Create videos for targeted traffic and use webinars to sell your coaching services. Seven different coaching services. There are a number of different online coaching services that you can offer to scale your business. One-to-one -one live coaching is very popular and you can charge high prices for this. You can also provide live coaching to a small group of clients. You can create training courses for passive income. Video-based training is best and you can charge the most for this. If you use a platform to sell your training courses, they will charge a commission. Create a membership site where clients pay you each month to access valuable resources, weekly webinars, and so on. 8. Online Coaching Tools There are a number of useful tools available to you as your business grows. These are not necessary to start your online coaching business. Administrative platforms that help you sell and organize your coaching sessions include Satori, Coach Accountable, and Nudge Coach. A good free calendar app is Calendly, and this will integrate with your current Google Calendar or Outlook. You can send out booking links directly from this app. Consider using the Zoom conferencing platform. This is excellent and you can record all of your sessions. Your clients do not have to have a Zoom account to use the platform. Conclusion We have worked hard to bring you this training on creating a profitable online coaching business. The methods revealed in this training are proven and will work for you if you apply them. Please do not just go through this training and do nothing. You're only going to create a profitable online coaching business if you take action. In this training, you have everything that you need to launch and maintain a successful online coaching business. We have provided you with ideas on how you can grow your business as well and create passive income from it. Now, it's over to you. We wish you every success with your online coaching business.